Have you seen a DJ Snake video before? In my opinion, they're some of the best, most captivating, visually ridiculous music promos out there. His YouTube channel has over 7 billion views and this VFX heavy epic for Turn Down For What by my favourite VFX silly director duo Daniels won Best Direction the year it was out at the VMAs. In the May of 2018, I wrote and pitched on a DJ Snake track and it very nearly got made until it didn't. The word nearly is also probably a stretch. I was supposedly shortlisted and then heard nothing. Regardless of having not actually won and consequently not made this promo, I wanted to share my pitch losing treatment with you so you can see how I approached it, but mostly because I think it was a sick idea and I'm gutted that it never got made. My idea actually began a year earlier, whilst treating on another music promo for another superstar DJ, Skrillex. The name of the track was Chicken Soup, which, synonymous with being ill, had me write the most basic of basis for an idea where someone had a sneeze so powerful it has devastating effects. With not much time to spare between other jobs at the time of writing, I'd written this intro line, along with a quick taster video of silliness cut to the track, that I've unfortunately since deleted, but it was based off these stills, so you kinda get the idea. This idea too was shortlisted, even off of just this simple two-pager, but then, as his music video pitching tradition, all went quiet. Almost a year to the day later, I was browsing Creative Commission one weekday morning when I came across a large budget brief for a DJ Snake track titled Let's Get Ill. This is my second chance to try and make this silly idea a reality. This time around though, I had more time on my side to spend putting together a more fleshed out treatment. Like all great treatments, I began with the title page with a very egotistical, a treatment by Scott Peters. I would normally do that on something like this anyway because I just want my name to stick out um, and I probably would honestly go and then write that on all the other pages as well. In the corner, just to remind everyone that this treatment is by Scott Peters. So when they're looking at one of the 60 treatments they got submitted for this, they're like, oh, that was that cool image in that thing they associate with my name. But for some reason I didn't do it on this one, I don't know why. I found this image of this old man sneezing when I was looking for reference imagery and I just really liked it. I thought it was a very strong and powerful image and I wanted an old man as the main character in the video after I developed the idea a bit more. So that's how I started it. This song makes me want to move. I have an idea for a move-induced story filled with hilarity, energy, and awe-inspiring visuals. The idea. Some dust gets up your nose. Perhaps you've got a case of the common cold. Imagine you sneeze, as we all do. But on this occasion, the power of your sneeze is far greater than any sneeze you have delivered before. The almighty sneeze you unleash destroys the room around you. Cereals flying out the bowl, books tumble from the shelves, every girl's skirt lifts, a bald guy's wig is blown away. It's hay fever season and you found yourself with this strange and ridiculous power. You can't control it. And suddenly the world sees you as the bad guy, a villain. To give you an idea of the ridiculous I want to invoke, watch this feeling tipple I put together. That's terrible English. I basically like found loads of over the top explosion clips and stuff and cut it to the track much like I did for the Skrillex video. But again, like the Skrillex video, I seem to have deleted that from my Vimeo. And I probably did that because I got too many warnings from Vimeo over the years and I got scared. But yeah, I want to take this annoying everyday experience and push it to the extreme. I'm trying to get them hyped on this idea. The narrative. I've opened this with a page full of reference images. Quite niche stuff I was looking for here. Not a lot of stuff in my existing library and Shot Deck didn't exist at the time. Some images that hopefully create a feeling. I don't know, we'll see. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've been quite literal with what happens where in the track here. So I put in the timings of the track, of which obviously I can't have in this video because of, you know, YouTube stuff, but I'll put a link up there to the actual track. If you want to go listen to it. We open on a rusty old banger of a car racing down a dusty track. The driver has urgency in their eyes, they're in a rush, a panic. The car tires come screeching to a stop on the edge of a crowded marketplace. The driver gets out, the camera races up to him as they slam the door shut. A scrawny young man readies himself and marches forward into the crowd, pushing through people to reach the front of the commotion. He breaks through the crowd into a clearing to reveal an older Mexican gentleman, his face full of character. There's a cheaply made banner on the wall behind him that reads El Diablo, the devil. He huffs and puffs, his eyes squinting in the light as he tries to hold his sneeze inside. The crowd jeers as the anticipation builds, panic and concern in their faces. So the reason why I'd chosen a Mexican guy and Mexico in general is because I stumbled across this particularly beautiful location. I think I'd read something recently about how cheap it had been to film in Mexico. So I'm thinking like practically, but mostly it was around 
wicked. There's a cool location in this part of the world. We can find characterful people. We're going to see things in a, a very different light to the way that it normally puts things together here in the UK. Another reference image. Anyway, carrying on with the story. He can't hold it in anymore. He pauses before letting out one almighty sneeze as the track drops. Let's get ill. Which may or may not be how the actual track goes. I can't remember having listened to it in four years. An almighty tornado is unleashed. Members of the crowd fly back. Others try to hold on for dear life in the force of the gale. Someone's hat flies off. A fruit stall is blown over as the table flips. A woman struggles to keep her dress down, Marilyn Monroe style. A cat flies, screeching through the wind. A man's toupee blows off. People are outraged. There's a lot going on here. I know this is going to be an expensive video, but it was a good baseline budget. And I was like, I think we can do this. Having caused havoc, the sneezing freak show, our elderly Mexican gent, starts to make off, away from the mob in a panic. As he moves quickly down narrow alleys, he looks upset, worried. We feel empathy for him. The city falls tonight. The angry mob is still after him. Police car lights flash, angry eyes dart. The old man hides behind a dumpster. The coast is clear. Pulling a cloak over his head to disguise his appearance, he emerges and begins to move cautiously through the crowd. Another reference image here, taken, if you don't already know, from the angry mob in the live action version of Beauty and the Beast. Making his way atop a building, he's looking out down on the crowd. He removes his disguise and addresses the crowd. And this is the lyrics that he's mouthing here. And I think in my head, I'm not sure if I'd seen this at the time or if it was out yet or if I referenced it or whatever, but you know that amazing video by one of my favorite directors, Sam Pilling. I just love it so good with the lip sync of the older guys lip syncing, which is clearly not their voice. Whether that had anything to do with this or I don't know, maybe that even wasn't out then. But yeah, I just like the idea of this old dude lip syncing the lyrics in the track. Party people, your dreams have now been fulfilled. Get out your seats and let's get ill. I'm going to listen to the track after this. And I wonder if it's actually anything like that, because it probably isn't. People turn and stare up, a mixture of concern and panic. Armed cops take position at various viewpoints within the crowd and from windows across the street, taking aim at the old man. A sergeant on a megaphone screams for him to get down. Let's stretch out. Which may or may not be how it goes again, but those are the lyrics. Tensions are high. A red laser sight on one of the shooter's weapons catches the eye of the old man and once again he unleashes a mighty sneeze. <gasps> All hell breaks loose. People flying back, tables flying over. We see the old man trying to contain a follow-up sneeze. A second consecutive sneeze. There's an explosion from a food stall in the marketplace. A flame shoots up. People are panicked. Again, the old man fights with himself, trying to contain any further sneezing. A third consecutive sneeze, more devastation, more carnage, more upset. The old man has found a vehicle and is zooming away, the police in pursuit, his face full of upset and panic. We really empathise with him, despite the carnage that he's caused. He's lost the cops now, the city in the background lit up in flames as he makes his escape into the night. Someone's got a sneeze, people take the sneeze the wrong way, man gets away. Lots of visual effects, lots of practical effects. More practical effects than visual effects, I should imagine. Yes, it would have been expensive, but it would have been cool. This will look beautiful. When will it not? Like, when would you ever want to make something deliberately look shit? And maybe sometimes you would deliberately want to make something look shit, and then you would say, this is not going to look beautiful. Cinematic and stylish with a filmic look. DJ Snake's incredible recent effort with Magenta Rhythm is aspirational in its color and energy, and I, I meant that. I thought it was, it was such a cool video. This piece will not be far amiss. Shooting on location in Mexico, the actors will be locally cast and one of the country's more vibrant and characterful towns will play the backdrop to our story. Thanks for reading. Thanks for taking the time to look over my treatment. I've been a fan of DJ Snake's work since I first saw the video for Turn Down For What. His promos have always had a certain standard of quality, rhythm and humour that I want to uphold and think this treatment is the perfect fit to do so. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Scott. And then there's our old man. Let's get ill. What more should I have said? Would I have gone into detail on lots of things? But at this point, I it would have been a waste of time. If I'd then been asked for more info um, or I'd actually won the pitch, I would have gone into detail on like styling and casting options and gone out there and done a recce and got local producer involved um, as well as probably someone that I know and trust. But it doesn't matter what I would have done because I never got it. So that's a shame. So that was my treatment for a DJ Snake video that was never made. Taken originally from another idea for a Skrillex video that was never made. Any big budget wielding musicians or brands out there that want to help me make this silly idea a reality? I don't think so. If you want to see behind the curtain on more jobs that never were, 
then I've created a new playlist that celebrates them in all their failed glory. But if you're here to witness the wins rather than the losses, then maybe check out this video instead. And if you still haven't, make sure to subscribe for more semi-helpful tips and interesting insider industry knowledge.